Hi, Dr. Mike. Thought I'd do a video showing a little bit of the kind of local streaming options you can do with the Act Games Legend Ultimate today. So uh, there are a lot of great capabilities with the system, a lot of different ways you can extend it, but one of the most powerful ones is if you got some games on your PC, if you have, a lot of, if you have Steam on your PC, some good games there, you can connect them to your Act Games Ultimate and to play with it. Now there's a lot of other very cool things you can do with the Legends Ultimate 2. And we will talk about those in a future video, but for today, we are going to focus on local streaming. So one of the most important things is going to be you're going to want to do a hardwired connection between your PC or laptop and your, your Legends unit to get the best response time. I've tried it on Wi-Fi, and depending on the nature of the game, sometimes it can be not very, be a very good experience. you got to just basically load some software onto your PC and get going on that. So we'll go ahead and show you how that's done. So you're going to want to go to the At Games Legend website, which is at arcade.atgames.net. And they have all the kinds of good stuff you're going to need uh, to do it. So you're going to go up to the Legends Arcade Platform link and click on that and select a BYOG, Bring Your Own Game. This is one of the really powerful functions of the Legends Ultimate. And there's a lot of interesting things with streaming options and other things you can do with bringing your own games. But we're going to focus today on just local streaming and the capabilities there. So you do need to download some software. It's called the ArcadeNet link. And there's a link, there's a green box you see there. You go ahead and click on that and that'll download it and you install it. It becomes available. And so that's what you need to start up on your system to create the connection. And then once it's there and you fire it up on the at games, you're basically going to see your desktop or whatever you have up on your desktop when you've made the connection. So I've got it installed. I go over to my start menu. I get to arcade net link and I click on it and it's going to present a login screen for you. You will have had to set up an account with at games to be able to do this. You enter your, what you, what you set up there, your, your ID and your password for that. Important to note on this screen. And I always forget you can't hit enter after you enter the password and have it start. You have to go down and click on that submit button. Um, as on this recording here, I forgot that. So it took a second for me to go ahead and get it fired up. But you go ahead and do that. So it starts doing the arcade net thing where it's creating the connection between you and your, your system and your PC. And then once that's there and you fire it up on your at games, what's on your desktop is going to be on your Legends Ultimate. You'll use the trackball and the buttons to go ahead and click. So we go to the at games. Uh, Legends Ultimate, we go to the BYOG menu option from there, and what we're looking for is an, uh, an application that's an icon, looks kind of like an envelope with pipes coming out of it. That's my desktop, or that's my laptop. So I go ahead and click on that, and what's ever on my desktop is now going to be on the At Games. And what was on there is I fired up Steam, and I brought up Pinball Arcade, which is one of my favorite Steam apps. Pinball Arcade is actually very cool. You get one free game, I believe it's Frankenstein, the Robert De Niro Frankenstein. Uh, it's a decent game, it's kind of fun to play, but they also once a month offer new ones, and this month it was actually Star Trek. And the Star Trek game is quite good, very enjoyable, and so there's a little bit of gameplay for it. I did that connection between, I did the Ethernet connection between my laptop and my ALU, and it made a huge difference in the lag. So for something like pinball, where latency would kill you, it's really important you do that kind of connection because you're just not going to be satisfied otherwise. But as you can see... Looks great on the system, plays really well, and it's a fun game. And so, if nothing else, I recommend going to Steam's and getting Pinball Arcade because it is actually really fun. And I've enjoyed playing it on my Legends. Now, Mike, Baba is you, involves sheep, and for some reason, I thought it might speak to you. I don't know. But this is another really fun game. It is completely joystick-based. It's a puzzle-solving game. It's also on Steam. Uh, it works out fantastic on the Legends. It's really easy to play. Uh, you're moving it around, and this is puzzle solving. You're doing combination of words to kind of create different rules for things to happen and achieve a goal. Uh, it, uh, it's fun to play just on the PC, but now I can do it on my Legends Ultimate and just want to give an example of another different game. It is probably good to stick with games with minimal controls. I haven't figured out more complex keyboard mapping. If I do, I'll do a future video on that. But for now, you might have to pick and choose of your your Steam games to find the ones that'll play well on the ALU. Now, not everything's perfect. I want to talk about a couple challenges that are out there. One, you may experience some crashes. When I fired up ArcadeNet Link, a lot of times when I do come back, my system will crash. Now, it's really important you actually shut it off at the ALU unit and not on your PC because you could lose your pointer more on that later. But I do get some crashes, and I had a lot of stuff up and running. But 
keep an eye out for that. Second, be sure you're hardwired to your PC. If you're playing any game that requires precision or kind of speed speed reactions, the latency will kill you otherwise. I tried it again and again on Wi-Fi. I couldn't really get anything satisfactory. I even have a satellite down here to kind of extend the Wi-Fi network, and it still really didn't do the job. And then finally, you may lose your pointer, particularly if you don't shut it off at the unit. And you'll come back to your PC, and you can move your mouse around and highlight things, but you can't see your arrow. But let me show you what you can do to fix that. What you can do is you've got to kind of figure out and eventually highlight that bottom search bar. You'll find it eventually. Type in the word pointer, and it's going to bring you up some options uh, to, to choose from there. I always go to change pointer color. It's just as easy as anything. Basically, we just need to, to do a toggle here to get things to come back. And so what I do is I just go and I pick one of the other pointer styles and go back to whatever pointer style I want. But as soon as I do that, the pointer pops back up and it's good to go. So if you run into that problem, here's a quick fix. You just got to kind of, you know, figure your way down to that entry screen. So Mike, you a pinball guy? You a sheep guy? What do you think? Oh, hey Kelly. Dr. Mike here. You caught me in the shower again. Uh, so to answer your question, yes, I am a pinball guy and I'm a huge fan of pinball arcades. I would particularly recommend the Bram Stoker's Dracula table. That table was based off the 1990s Francis Ford Coppola Bram Stoker's Dracula. Uh, I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about certain aspects of that movie, but visually it is amazing. Personally, I am looking forward to the arcade one-up video pinball tables that are coming out. Uh, I know they have Marvel, Star Wars, and a few others in the works, so I'm curious to see how that all plays out. And everybody knows I'm a sheep guy. Now, in case you're wondering why I'm doing another video in the shower, that's because I'm keeping this clean for YouTube. That's right. This is also pun of the day.